Welcome to the lesson that will discuss Grammarly. Grammarly is a Chrome extension that serves as a contextual spell checker. The free spell checker and grammar checker by Grammarly helps you write clearly and confidently on Gmail, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Tumblr, and nearly anywhere else on the web. To download Grammarly, go ahead and go to Google and type in Grammarly Chrome. It should be the top option. You would then click on that, and I've already added it to Chrome, but you would click on Add to Chrome, and then it would become available. As you can see, the icon is in the upper right corner, and it does say Grammarly. Here is an example of making mistakes in LinkedIn. Notice that Grammarly is turned off if I click on that and enable it you should see several errors pop up. So I'll go ahead and respell wanted, fabulous, and I didn't capitalize Colorado. So this could save some embarrassment, especially on a professional network like LinkedIn. So it's checked it, I fixed it, I'm ready to share it. Here's an example where I'm editing my website and I intentionally made a mistake spelling think. And if you notice, Grammarly is turned off. So you're gonna to wanna to keep it on, obviously, when you're editing, and it should catch it. And then, of course, you can fix it at that point. But it's just fabulous. As you're typing, Grammarly will catch it and let you know that you're making some mistakes. I went ahead and made some errors. I didn't make any misspellings. However, the words I used do not fit with what I'm trying to communicate. So for example, if you look at the sentence, there are a lot of people. Notice it's recommending that, hey, maybe you're picking the wrong there. And it so happens that it's actually correct. So I would fix that. I pick the wrong site. It should be S-I-T-E, not C-I-T-E. And I use the wrong use of to. It should be only T-O. The last sentence, I hope you bookmark the site to, and it should be T-O-O. I did want to point out that Grammarly does not work in Google Docs. Here's an example. There are actually mistakes in here. Now I can right click and correct this here, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go ahead and select all of the story and I can right click and choose copy or I can do control C on the keyboard. I would then go to the Grammarly icon, click on that and choose new document. When this loads, I will do control V to paste the story. And then there's going to be recommendations on the right hand side. Now notice these were not caught over here. Some of these were not caught in Google Docs. However, in Grammarly, you can see there's some errors. I missed my bus too. If I click on that, I can click over here to replace it to swap it off. I'll go ahead and click on there. And this is the appropriate word for there. There were many students and cried too. I used the wrong too. And finally, I'll click on school because it's underlined. The school was over. Actually, I don't think this is grammatically incorrect, so I'll leave it. And I finally said, I'll click on said. There should be a comma there. And it has caught several errors. I can then reselect it. And I can do control C of my keyboard to copy that. And I can return to my doc. And I'll go ahead and select those words and do control V to overwrite it with the updated corrections. This concludes the session on how to use Grammarly to check for contextual errors and spelling errors. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.